Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another laptop episode. This week comparing the brand new Microsoft Surface 3. A lot of people looking to grab this 15 inch are kind of comparing it to the 15 inch MacBook Pro. Of course, I've got my 2019 model here. I think these are very different devices. They're at different price ranges even though they're the premium offerings from both Microsoft and Apple respectively. Maybe let's talk about the Surface 3 first as it's the newer device. The model that I've got here is their new AMD line and this is where it gets a bit tricky this year with Microsoft. They've got this special partnership, they're creating AMD chips. This one is the Ryzen 5. You can also select the Ryzen 7 which is a lot more money. The weird thing is Microsoft makes this exact laptop in the 15 inch with their Intel chipsets. If you're looking at the 13 inches, those are only Intel. Keep that in mind though, if you are in the market, there is another option and the Intel chipsets, sadly, they're a bit better. Similar performance, just keep in mind this isn't a powerhouse machine and I think that's where the biggest differences lie between these two devices and let's start off with price. I've got the mid-tier model here, Ryzen 5, 256 gigs of storage and 16 gigs of RAM. I think that will be the most popular. That starts off at $16.99 and when you compare that to the base end MacBook Pro, even though I've got the fully spec'd out one, I have tested and used the entry level, that starts off at $2,400 and if my math is correct, seven, $800 price difference and that's huge. That's a third of the cost of the laptops. Hoping my math is right. And just remember, Surface products aren't meant to be those heavy lifters. Don't expect to edit 4K, 8K timelines. Run the most graphic intensive games. If you just wanna get by playing medium to high settings, say on Fortnite, this guy will get you by totally fine. And I think that's what most people kind of want. If you're looking for a dedicated gaming rig, obviously you're gonna look at those dedicated gaming laptops, which are way beefier. They weigh a ton and when you look at the Surface, it's super light, it's portable, and that's what this guy is meant for. Way lighter than the 15 inch MacBook Pro. Let me grab my scale here. 3.6 pounds for the Surface and 4.06 for the MacBook Pro. So definitely a difference. And if you're contemplating between either of these devices, you really need to consider what you're using them for. I've seen countless times back when I was in school, even now at work, people are using 15 inch MacBook Pros for light, to medium loads. It's dope, you're using a $2,500 device to use PowerPoint or to browse the net. You've got the deep pockets, hey, all the power to you. That's what Surface laptops are meant for. Productivity, getting emails done, word processing, you can tax it on the low end, but it comes in a beautiful form factor. It has the same finishing, or I would say the best finishing in a Windows based machine. You've got a three by two multi-touch display. I'm a fan that the bezels are the exact same around the outsides. It's not the brightest screen, doesn't get as bright as say the MacBook Pro for all you peeps that are interested in nit brightness. You've got the all aluminum build in a sexy matte black finish. Yes, I use sexy for a laptop term. I wish the MacBook Pros had this type of finish. Keyboard, chiclet style, slightly longer throw than the butterfly switches found over in the MacBook Pro. The speakers are actually built in underneath the keyboard and that's where the sound gets through. That's where the MacBook Pro definitely takes the cake. You've got the dedicated speakers on the side. Trackpad, nice and large. It's got a nice click to it. Once again, not as good as the MacBook Pros. I think those are kind of industry standard, but for a Windows machine, this thing is beautifully built. Onto the IO. You've got the Microsoft magnetic charger on one side, and maybe this is where the Surface falls a bit short. You only have one USB port and one USB-C port, but I'm not too sure which wins better IO. You've got four USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports on, of course, the MacBook Pro. You'll probably need dongles for either. Maybe the saving grace for the Microsoft, at least their charger has a USB-C port, so you could technically charge your phone or do something extra. Further differences between both, you've got face unlock, which I do prefer over on the Surface 3. I do find it's faster. Of course, on the MacBook Pro, you've got Touch ID and the Touch Bar, which I literally never use. I think it's a bit more of a gimmick. The hard keys over on the Surface 3, completely fine. When it comes down to it, you really need to look at what you're specking these devices for. Of course, the 2019 MacBook Pro, it's a complete beast. It's the first laptop that comes with eight cores. You can spec this guy to over $5,000, is that totally practical? For most people, 
Definitely not. For the Surface, you're definitely paying more a bit for the design. It's my favorite laptop. It definitely reminds me of my MacBook Pro in terms of build quality. Of course, you've got the gorgeous matte black finish. Remember though, you can grab this in an Intel variant if that is a deal breaker for you. Let me know which of these two devices you would end up grabbing. And remember, there's that $800 price difference. So I do think they are very different. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next ones or in one of my vlogs. Peace.